Good evening to you. Well, that's right. It all started right here as a fight between girls on the bus. A parent got involved in that scuffle. He was later arrested. Now, parents waited here this evening, shaken up by what had happened. They say it's an ongoing issue that needs a solution. This is cell phone video of students fighting at Faye and Canyon. It's been going on for a long time. The feud finally boiling over onto the school bus Wednesday morning. The girl that was on the bus, she hit me out of nowhere. Administrators say that's when a parent with a gun got involved. One of the adults uh, broke the window on the bus door. Um, that individual had a gun and uh, gained access to the bus. And I was scared. My light just flashed it before my eye. Lisa Bishop says her daughter was one of the students involved in the altercation. Administrators say there were monitors on the bus who all stepped in to stop that parent from getting on. It was very disturbing. When I seen the police and then the bus, it's like, wow. And to know that, that somebody had a gun on the bus, that's scary. That's real scary. This is kids. This, and I told him, this he say, she say stuff. Why are you getting involved in this? Administrators say the parent was on the bus for a little over 30 seconds. The driver called for help. Hampton says they are taking steps to ensure safety. We've increased the uh, number of security officers um, and um, several other safety and security steps. They're adding a monitor to the bus. Safety's first and then teaching our students well is second. Meanwhile, Bishop says her daughter will no longer be riding. Because I don't want nothing to happen to my child. I only have one child and I lose her. It's going to be a whole different ball game. Now, Hampton says transparency is very important to the district, so they did send out an email to parents letting them know that this all happened. It said, in part, FFSD is cooperating fully with Berkeley police in their investigation. Those involved will likely face criminal charges, and students who do not meet the expectations listed in the student expectation code will face consequences from the district. We also reached out to Berkeley police to ask them about the suspect and what his charges are. We are still waiting to hear back. Reporting live from Berkeley, I'm Blair Lede, Fox 2 News. A Fox 2